Welcome to part four of the Guardian tutorial, the electronics phase. When we first talked about making a Guardian, we knew we wanted lights, sounds, and a motion sensor. From that point, it was a pretty simple job of deciding on the form factor and components, and then wiring it up. For the lights, I decided to use addressable LEDs. Each pixel can be controlled individually, so they're great for making custom animations. The sounds are handled by a DF Player Mini soundboard. These are cheap and simple to use, so they were a great fit for this project. I used a small PIR motion sensor to detect when unsuspecting adventurers wander into aggro range. I had some spare Arduino Nanos lying around, so I decided to use one of them as the ancient core of this project. The programming was pretty simple. Most of my time was spent making sure the animations synced up well with the audio for that perfect butt-clenching experience. One trick I use for this is opening the sound file in Audacity and looking at the waveforms. This lets you get really precise and takes out the guesswork for when certain sound cues start and end. Since we don't have an outlet near our door, everything had to be battery powered and fit in a small box. I had a 5 volt power bank lying around from my Pokemon Go days, which worked great for powering the Arduino and the soundboard. There are approximately 7 Ganondorfs worth of LEDs, so I ended up using a drill battery to handle all of that power. Anyways, now it scares our neighbors. Mission accomplished! Be sure to stick around for part 5 where we'll go over assembly.